Women have been central to Egypt's revolution, from the uprising two years ago through protests against current President Mohamed Morsi. They've been on the front lines, but in recent weeks, they've faced a different rising danger. Mob sexual violence against female protesters has skyrocketed in the past month, with at least 19 attacks reported on Tahrir Square in one day alone. As in this video, the victim is encircled by a group of men. The men rip off the women's clothes and violate them with hands, sticks, and in at least one case, a blade. Women have rallied in protest, demanding the president investigate and bring those responsible to justice. The sexual attacks have been long endemic in Egypt, with many women reporting frequent harassment just going about their lives. Women can find it bewildering. When I go in the street and found something hit me or, or touch my, my, my body, what, what are you, they think about it? How they could do that? The mob attacks of Tahrir have brought up even darker questions and accusations that the violence is not just gender-based, but political. Rights advocate Mehad Abu Al-Khumsan. There were aggressive actions against civilians in an organized and pre-planned way to empty the squares and scare the opposition and send messages to society so that they are scared to express their opinion. Activists point out there have been no reports of mob attacks at pro-government rallies. So who made him? Political analyst Saeed Sadek says the practice goes back years. This is a culture that I think that humiliating uh, people sexually will deter them from being active politically. Uh, so this is what is being done. Uh, and uh, nobody gets arrested despite the fact that you have videotapes of people who did it. While a culture of impunity is not new, the spike in attacks has raised pressure on President Morsi and other Islamist leaders to clearly denounce the violence and work to prevent it. Psychologist Farah Shash. The people will be pushing for laws uh, to be applied and for laws uh, to, uh, to, uh, to be in the parliament that would stop these kinds of actions, whether sexual harassment, sexual violence, or any kind of violence taking place. In the meantime, and despite the dangers, many Egyptian women remain undeterred. Elizabeth Arrett, VOA News, Cairo.